Damn, this kid has gotten personal messages from Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland, and Mr. Beast. He has gotten an authentic shield from Chris Evans. RDJ has a surprise for him on his birthday, and Tom Holland has invited him to Spider-Man 3 set, but he deserves it. That's so freaking cool. Someone wrote, no, he doesn't. He's just a five-year-old who helped his sister. I actually got 14 stitches on my arm when I did something like this and like I get no fame because I'm 13 and he's five. You both deserve it. No offense, but I'm just saying hashtag jealousy. If no one has seen this video, I know exactly what they're talking about. Some five-year-old boy protected his like young sister from like a dog. Like he needed, he got injured and he needed stitches and he was protecting his little sister. So anyways, the internet blew up the video and everyone was calling him a hero and all his hero actors like, yeah, did all this for him. And I guess this person's like, he doesn't deserve it. Got a complaint from a customer saying his delivery took too long. It had been 30 minutes. He still complained after I explained to him how busy and backed up we were. Cry me an effing river, I hate entitled people. No one likes when their order is late or when something takes long. I understand it's frustrating, but gotta be understanding sometimes, you know, especially because I've worked in customer service, I've worked in retail, I've worked as an ECE with children, like patience is a virtue and sometimes it's not their fault. They're doing the best they can. Entitled people who think they can leave trash everywhere. I've done that before. Like not intentionally though. I mean, oh, that's bad. That's bad. I mean, as a kid, guarantee I totally did this. Like as a teen, I probably left stuff anywhere and didn't think anything of it until I worked in retail. And then it was like, oh, wait a second. This is freaking rude. However, I have done it on accident. Like I'm the worst. I'll go shopping with coffee because I love to have coffee while I shop and stuff. And then I'll put it down while I'm looking at something and then I forget it. And then I'm mad at myself because I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my coffee in a store somewhere. And then that's garbage, a full coffee for someone to clean like y'all I'm just I'm exposing myself here I'm sorry I'm not trying to be rude it's an accident sometimes what's up everyone welcome back I am sassy and we're checking out the most entitled people on the internet love to see it hate to see it but love to see it at the same time because it's entertaining totally loving the fireworks now about the barking dogs Ooh. Hi everyone, I'm so enjoying all the fireworks going on. Tis the season. But as a reminder to all dog owners, if you could train your dogs not to bark during the fireworks show, that'd be great. Barking can be very distracting to the rest of us trying to enjoy the show. Thanks so much. Okay, Karen. Okay. Sure. No problem. That's like saying, can you train your babies not to cry at the loud noises of the fireworks? I don't even have anything to say because I was told if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. And I don't have anything nice to say about this. Ooh, someone gave a one star rating. Not happy with how I was just turned away because it was senior citizen hour, which totally understand, but I am over nine months pregnant and was told I can't come in. I am just as high risk for getting the virus and would like to go when there's less people. I will be canceling my membership totally uncalled for. Ooh, what is this? This for a gym or something? I don't know. This is for, but I feel like that sounds like a gym. Nine months pregnant. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe if you're nine months pregnant and you're at high risk for getting the virus, maybe you should stay home. Genuinely looking out for you. If you think you're at high risk and you're nine months pregnant, maybe you should just stay home. Hey, I got some masks from you for my daughter's daycare. It was thirty for the caregivers. Yes. How are you? Well, I'm a bit taken back. The stitching doesn't complement the fabric and I'm embarrassed to give them to the teachers. I'll need you to make more. The stitching has to match what fabric you use. You should know this. Like, really? Oh. Um, are you serious? I made you 30 masks. They were free. Free. I took my fabric, thread, elastic, and my time to make these to donate to your school. All these supplies are difficult to find and I use what I had on hand. Making that many masks takes time. Changing thread and box Bobbin, bobbin colors for each mask adds a lot of time. If you're not pleased with what I made you, please donate to someone who is more appreciative. Uh, at first I was like, oh wait, what happened? You did not order these and place an order and pay and say, I want this color and blah, blah. Literally these were just masks donated to you for free to keep your employees and teachers safe. Are you really complaining? You can stitch together some masks then on your own time if you'd like. Please close your windows when cooking meat. I can't. Y'all. Oh my god. What's up, neighborhood? One love. As 
a vegan runner. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Lord, take the wheel. Take the wheel, Jesus, because I know what I'm about to read and it's gonna be so stupid. As a vegan runner, it's very hard for me this time of year when the weather starts warming up and folks start opening their windows. Several nights a week, I'm out running around dinner time and when people have their windows open, I can smell what they are cooking. I've noticed a sharp uptick recently in smell of folks cooking meat and it can be quite overpowering. Quite honestly, the odor is offensive and I'm hoping our community can have some empathy for its plant-based neighbors by closing their windows if they are cooking meat and only putting vegetables on their barbecue. I don't want to be a stereotype, so I won't go into detail on why the odor of cooking animals is offensive, but I encourage you to do your research and join the movement of people who are fighting back. Peace and love. I have to just keep my mouth shut on this one because I will offend a lot of people. I gotta learn to just shut my mouth before I just tear someone apart right now because this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever ever heard. It's laughable how stupid this request is. And if someone ever came to me and said this, I would laugh in their face. And it's funny because I'm actually 90% plant-based, okay? And I can't, if I even smell seafood, I'll gag. But I don't give a flying, you do you. It's not my world. Wonder Woman parks like this almost every day in the spot closest to my apartment building. Ma, are you kidding? Does she have what, like freaking Batmobile stickers on the back of this? Ay, yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman, is that her license plate says Wonder Woman? This is so embarrassing. I hate double parkers. The lady using bread as knee pads while she looks at other bread. <gasps> Shut the front door, is she buying that bread after? I understand if you cannot reach the bottom shelf or you're elderly and maybe it's painful, ask for help. I will gladly assist you in looking at other dates on breads and other things like that. Look at the bread. What does she think it's just gonna like bounce back after? Hi, I wanna get my lashes done with you, but I just wanna say first, I don't wanna talk during the appointment due to the fact that I clearly do not like you as a person. I just like your work and your work only. I need an appointment tomorrow morning. Put me down for 10 a.m. What? This person said no with a heart emoji. Y'all, way nicer than I would have been. Are you kidding me? As if you think I would want to do lashes for you after a message like that. You out your damn mind. I don't need the business that bad. Hell no. That emoji, you put a heart emoji, I'd put the middle finger emoji. <laughs> I, I don't get why people do this though. I honestly don't get it. I have long hair, okay? I have fairly long hair. It's down to my middle, past my breasts. <laughs> I don't know how to describe where it is on my body, but I have long hair and it would hang over a seat. Why? Why can't you just put it down or, or put it up? Why do you have to put it over the seat onto someone else? Like, I don't get it. Some white lady just tried to do the whole, I'm friends with the owner thing to me and I dead beep said, oh really, I didn't realize we were friends. What's your name? <gasps> Oh, someone tried to say I'm friends with the owner and it's like, no, I'm the owner and I don't know you. <laughs> so this is awkward. Dear Oak Park resident, I'm really sorry for taking the flowers out of your garden. All the grocery stores ran out. I literally went to six different stores. I'm tired and my mom is waiting. Put yourself in my shoes before you decide to be upset. Happy Mother's Day. I like how they just decided, put yourself in my shoes before you're upset. And it's like, are you really trying to plead your case as to why I don't have a reason to be upset that you just tore these roses out of my garden? Like maybe you shouldn't have waited until last minute to get your mother flowers. Of course they're all out of flowers. You waited till last minute right before your mother was waiting for you. All right guys, before I get out of here, today's sassy shout out goes to Megan Noland. They said AWOL means absent without leave. It means the guy just disappeared from the military, which is really bad. I was in the Navy and I'm sure that ended very badly for him. Love your channel, Chica. Thank you. I'm flattered. Thank you for also explaining what AWOL meant. I always, I've heard the term and I'm like, but what is AWOL? Like I knew it meant like, like disappear, like they went AWOL, but I actually never knew what like the letters stood for. So thank you for clarifying. Thank you for your service in the Navy. And I agree. I think it ended very badly for him. If you guys want to be the next sassy shout out, talk some smack down below, leave a like, subscribe, do all the things. Stay classy out there and stay sassy. Bye. All right, we've got the most entitled people on the internet. Stay, my phone is, or my camera's wobbling all over the damn place.
Oh, my throat. Excuse me. Wow, that looked really good. Mm. Wow, that was so, <laughs> I just got really excited. <laughs> How big my lips look. <laughs> Anyways, wow, this is not important. There's a vacuum. Oh my God, they're vacuuming my condo hallway right now. Come on, y'all. That's loud. You're good. Yep, here, she's coming closer. It's the cleaning lady. All right, y'all, you know what? This is real life here. If you hear it, I'm sorry. I'll try to enunciate and I have a microphone. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.